Hello everyone, welcome back to Nicholas's Green Fit Adventure vlog series. I'm so happy to see you here joining me on this adventure. It's actually an adventure. It's so cool. I know, right? Um, getting up every day, exercising every day is a challenge, at least for myself. I'm not sure how are you doing with exercising or keeping fit. I'm curious to learn, like, if you want to leave me a comment or let me know how you're doing or if there's any challenges you're facing, whether it's fitness or it's something else, let me know. I'd be curious to learn. Yeah. And for me, this was a challenge until I started to make this serious. And I think the challenge sort of shifted. It shifted from um, the the fitness, the, the being fitness part was the challenge to I'm more than happy to get up and exercise and maybe do some video recording and start my whole day like uh, it's a healthy start of, uh, of a day. You, you get up, you exercise, drink a lot of water, which reminds me, let me take a sip of my water. Mmm, so good. It's actually not just water, it's tea. But anyway, I found out that now it's easier for me to follow this routine. However, every day I generate a Ring Fit Adventure video. That means every day, well, not exactly every day, but every day I make something new for myself to record this voiceover for each of these videos, right? I'm gonna try to keep up with this and think of something interesting to say during each video. And hopefully they're all sort of fitness and exercising oriented or it's related to this game, right? For example, um, I could do, I could do a status report on how am I feeling after exercising every day. This is actually day six. Yeah, and the video you're watching is actually day three. So, um, after exercising every day for like five days already in a row, yeah, I have been exercising every day. Wow, I know, right? If I tell, if you tell me a week ago saying that, hey, Nicholas, you know what? Next week, you're gonna exercising for a whole week. I'd be like, you are joking. That doesn't sound like me at all. I'm not that kind of person who would exercise for a whole week following some kind of stupid routine, even if it is made by myself. No, 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 no. But hey, surprisingly, I'm here. Um, let's see. Right, status report. Uh, after exercising for like five days straight in a row. Yeah, hell yeah. That's so awesome. Um... I do feel sore. Uh, you might be asking like, hey, Nicholas, this is so lightweight. How can you feel sore? I just haven't exercised this a lot for the last past two years. I blame COVID. Maybe it's not, but I blame COVID. You know, I never got it, but it's just like the whole situation. You can't leave and you have to like self isolate. I never had COVID, but then it's just like a strict, there was a period with very strict lockdown in where I am, not in China, but yeah. And that whole thing just messed up my fitness thing, I think. I, I blame COVID. Anyway, yeah, I feel sore, which is good, right? That's what you want. It's the comfortable kind of sore it's not really like oh i'm so sore i can't get up no no it's not like that it's just it's just like oh i feel a bit sore here i feel a bit sore there i didn't even know there are like i know there are muscles and ligaments and soft tissues anywhere on the body but it's just like oh this is new i haven't felt this for a while right you know that sensation um feeling sore that was part of it and let me take a look at my notes <laughs> Uh, I also feel like I am getting more flexible. Like my body is, I'm like doing all the stretches, doing all the exercises, is making my body more nimble. 
and I heard that um, strength is important, of course, right, for, for the body, but flexibility is also important. That is why people take part in yoga or Pilates or whatever kind of exercise that helps with these things. Yeah. And what else? I had something in the back of my head. Right. Ah, I feel sore. I feel getting more flexible, more nimble. I'm also feeling like some of my muscles are getting stronger and my uh, sort of endurance is getting more, is getting better, is improving. For example, when I just started, if I do a 15 minutes, I know this sounds like a joke, but it's actual real. If I do 15 minutes of Ring Fit Adventure, the really lightweight one, right? I would be gasping for air. It's like, oh, oh my God, this is tough, right? That's like the first day. But on the fifth day, yesterday, I could just do it and keep going for like 20 minutes. And I wasn't really that tired, even though I'm jacking up the difficulty every day and I'm doing longer and longer sessions every day. I'm hoping to keep all the sessions about 20 minutes-ish. That's like a sweet spot for me. And this sort of transition into the next topic I'm going to talk about. The reason why I love Ring Fit Adventure. Ah, Ring Fit Adventure. So before Ring Fit Adventure came out, I actually went to gym for like a few months or to like half a year. I tried out gym. I don't really think gym fits me. I'm a person who loves feedback. I love to create a positive feedback loop for myself. If I want to try something out or if I want to enjoy something. And fitness itself is something like that, right? I want to be able to see or hear or feel results. And to be honest with you, in my head, going to the gym is plain boring. As um, the character, what's her name? As character in The Good Place says, yeah, plain boring. Um, or yeah, basic, right? It's boring. You know, you go in, you get onto the equipment and you push weight, right? There's nothing to look at. And in the gym, it's the, I'm, I'm a person who has very um, sensitive nose. I'm not saying that the gym doesn't smell good. The gym just doesn't smell like anything. It's just a, a, a room filled with exercise equipment. And sometimes you do smell something kind of funky from someone else, right? There are smelly dudes. I, I, I'm not a smelly dude. I'm a nice smelling dude. Yeah. Anyway, getting off topic now. Um, right. Gym is a bit boring. There's not much feedback. You, you push weights and that's about it. But in... Um, Ring Fit Adventure, right? It's it's a lot of fun, you know. Getting back into this game reminds me how much fun I had when I just started, like, a few years ago playing this game. Because not only you're getting visual feedbacks, they spend a lot of time and effort in building these environments, making them look attractive, like, to your eyes. And there are details, if you want, to look at in the backgrounds. If you're focused on what you're doing, just look at the road. The roads are super obvious. You just follow them along, right? And plus, they build this game super, super well. Not only you have visual feedbacks, every time when you're doing like a certain um, action or movement, right? There's that that kind of sound effects and all that plays super well with me wanting positive feedback from whatever I am doing. Even if I'm doing my own job, right? I would create mechanisms so I can test things out very easily, getting that positive feedback, making sure I'm doing something correct. So, I mean, it's, it's just like a perfect game for me. Um, one thing, yeah, so that's the first thing. Um, 
RingFit Adventure is just exciting, um, super well made. The whole world and whole mechanism is just very fluent, very interesting. That's one thing. The other thing is thinking about going to a gym, right? Going to a gym, you have to go to a gym, right? Say your gym is about five minutes away from your place. Maybe you have to drive. Maybe you can just walk there. It's still five minutes away from you. And human brain is a funny little thing. If you tell it, you can just get up and do your thing. It's like, okay, that seems like very little resistance to me. I'm interested. But if you tell it, you have to get up, you have to um, do your morning routine, brush your teeth, um, look good-ish, right? And uh, at least appropriate to go out. Uh, everyone have a different standards, but you know. And then you have to put on your clothes, getting out of the door, go to your car, start it up. Draw. You can see how this thing is just like, Oh my God, can you just stop? There are just too many things for me to do. This is the, the voice for the brain. There's just too many things for me to do. I don't want to do any of those. I just want to relax. And that's what it does. It's like there's just too much difficulty, too, much ob too many obstacles and too much friction. The, the second sort of um, um, advantage of RingFit Adventure is the flexibility. You don't have to go out. You can just do it at home, wearing whatever you're wearing. Um, maybe you don't have a perfect, uh, like, what you call it, outlook, right? That sounds like the email app, but you know what I mean. I, I know. That's one thing. The other thing is that, okay, if where you are have the perfect season every day right that's fine you just go out but imagine the winter is super cold getting out you have to wear a ton of stuff that's what i got me like we got into winter and i was like ugh, getting out is so cold and after exercising right you are all sort of sweaty and you go out you get even colder no fuck no sorry for the swearing let me beep that out later Anyway, um, yeah, so it's flexible. It's very easy to follow along. It's quite comprehensive as well. You can see throughout the, the playthrough, right? There is a shit ton. <laughs> there is a shit ton of different exercises targeting different groups of muscles or ligaments you can do to uh, strengthen and also stretch your body. Um, plus, it's just a one-off cost. It's like 100 dollars or oh, maybe 80 dollars i'm not sure where you are it's cheap compared to a gym going to a gym it's like 20 dollars ish a week or 15 dollars ish a week and it's just like for a whole year you're paying thousands of dollars i'm like i could buy a new phone with that money why would i be paying gym mm, right that's just a lot of money yeah. Yeah. So that's my rant about comparing gym and RimFit at Adventure. It may or may not make sense to you, but I'm curious to hear what you think. If you agree with me, cool. I'd love to hear that. I'm always, uh, I always love to hear people agree with me, of course. Who does it, right? If you don't agree with me, let me know why. I do know there are downsides of RingFit Adventure because, say, if you want to push weights that's um, more than your body weight, that's where sort of um, uh, RingFit Adventure falls over because it's all body weights. And um, say, I want to target my leg. I want to do uh, leg pushes for like 20 kilos or 50 kilos or 100 kilos. I don't think that's achievable with RingFit Adventure. I mean, it's a really good product. It's fantastic in my view, but nothing is perfect. Everything has its own trade-offs, right? Cool, cool. Thank you very much for listening to my rant up until this point. If you did, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. 
I love to hear that you stick out. You listen to almost all of it. That's awesome. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you as a person. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye. それでは、スタティックストレッチを始めます。リングコンは使いません。安全な場所に置いておきましょう。足を広げて両手を上げ、左の手首をつかみます。手首を引きながら、体を右に倒し、体側を伸ばしていきましょう。して手を入れ替え、反対側に倒します。無理をしない程度にゆっくり伸ばしましょう。ゆっくり体を戻します。両手を上げて、左肘をつかみます。肘を下に押し込みながら二の腕を伸ばしていきましょう反対側も同じように行います呼吸を止めずにゆっくり伸ばしていきましょう体を戻します右足を前にして足を交差します体を前に倒し左足の後ろ側を伸ばしていきましょうそのままもう少しキープしましょう体を起こし足を入れ替えます
指先を後ろ側の足に近づけていきましょうゆっくり呼吸しながらキープしましょう腰から順番にゆっくり呼吸しましょう Last section. I will try to make the game audio sound less loud. Okay? It will be done. First thing first, I want to say thank you for watching it all the way to the end. Second thing is, I wonder how many of these episodes are named Easter eggs. Have you already found out? There should be one at In each of these、uh, episodes. So if you enjoy them, let me know in the comments. Okay? I will rate them. Thank you very much. I appreciate you so much. Okay? Have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye. ストレッチ終了です。お疲れ様でした。<音楽>